We've heard of people talking about the dawning of a new day or the dawning of a new time. Right now, I believe that there's a dawning of a new dimension. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels like this. I say for the last maybe month, it just seems like Things are not the same. I'm speaking as far as the environment, the feeling of the atmosphere that I'm in. For example, yesterday I was walking in one of the state parks, Green Lake State Park. And I've walked in that park so many other times. I've done photo shoots in that park, but yesterday, it made me feel like I was in an entirely different dimension. This morning when I woke up, just the feeling around the house and the way it felt and look outside is not the same. The furniture is in the right place. Everything else seems to be in the right place. My house is the same. My vehicle is the same. But the energy around me and the energy of people are not the same. Now, I've been to other dimensions and I, I've mentioned in prior videos when I travel to different dimensions and I say for the past month, it's been more activity, more inter or out of outer dimension activity than usual. Yes, I travel, I go to different dimensions. Um, some places I've visited more than a few times. Uh, there's there's people or entities that I've gotten to know uh, that's in human form. They know me. If I were to lay down, go to sleep, enter into that next dimension, um, there's people that would immediately recognize me and know me. And I actually feel at home. I feel like I belong there. I feel that I'm welcome there. And it reminded me of time back in the 70s, the way it felt at that time. So yesterday I'm in state, I'm in the state park, Green Lakes, and I'm looking at the people that were also walking that trail. The people that were out on the beach. But yet the energy did not seem the same. The environment did not seem like it was what we know as modern day civilization. People are different. The energy is different. This system is now under satanic rule. And there's some people that may say it's always been under satanic rule. But now it's out in the open. Criminals are being rewarded for doing crime. Criminals are becoming martyrs. But then law abiding citizens are being punished for right thinking and doing what's right. But we're in a totally different dimension. Everything seems to be the same. We see relatives and family members and friends that look like themselves, but they don't appear to be the same. I think right now that we're in a time where 
spiritual people, spiritual mind people, people that's not of this world, people that refer to themselves as crystal children, uh, those people that feel they don't belong in this world or on this plane of existence. And unfortunately, you have people that's like that, that become so disconnected that they choose to exterminate their life on earth. But those of you that are at the sound of my voice, instead of trying to exterminate your life in this dimension, in this plane, Maybe it's time to take a step back. Take a step back. Become quiet and more observant to the things and the people around you. Try to notice if certain things are out of place. Because there will be a time when you notice something out of place. Like maybe you may have a fingernail clipper sitting in a certain place, but then you come back and it's maybe moved a half an inch or so. And in your mind, you're trying to figure out, did I touch that? Did I hit that by accident? Or maybe you might wake up and notice you have a scar on your body, on your leg, your feet, your arm. And then you try figuring out where did this come from? How did I scratch myself in my sleep? And you can't seem to figure it out, but then you ignore it. Yes, you may feel the pains of it and it will constantly remind you that you have a scratch that you're not aware of where it came from and how you scratched yourself, especially if you're laying in the bed alone. So pay attention to really small details around you, around your environment, in your workplace. If you're in church, in church. If you're in the mosque, in the mosque. But pay attention. Don't don't become so overwhelmed or consumed what's happening in politics or in the media or in your personal life or any other type of distraction that these beings may use to distract you, to keep you off balance, to keep you off point. And like I mentioned in a prior video, that's what's happening. People are so bogged down with emotions and feelings and thoughts and protests that they can't see what's really happening right before their eyes and right before your eyes the universe appears to have shifted dimensions have changed everything seem or look the same but it don't feel the same we're in an entirely different dimension and I believe that much of what we see taking place, the Satanism, the witchcrafts, those that's in higher political positions, are working magic. And I find it quite strange, and I'll end on this, that now they're talking about UFOs being confirmed. NASA, the Navy, is confirming extraterrestrial or UFO movement. Flying saucers and spacecraft that's in formation. 
And now they're saying it's real. It's been confirmed. And my mind always go back to the Bible where it says, Be not forgetful how you entertain strangers, for some have entertained angels unaware. And that was at that period of time before that scripture was written. So if some have entertained angels unaware, how many times do we entertain angels or extraterrestrials in this time and space? How do you know that you're not married to one? And that's why your children look and act the way they do. There are certain YouTubers that I watch their videos and they look like aliens. And it sounds crazy. I know it sounds crazy. But if you watch their movement, watch the words that they use, the level of intellect they have, and the number of followers they have, it really makes you wonder, a thinking person, it makes you really wonder who's really pulling those strings and who are you really? But am I the only one that think that something appears to be off? Everything seems normal. It's like we're in this little matchbox of a home that we call a home. Whatever size home you live in, you're in a matchbox. But when you look outside, it's like the twilight zone. You enter into a different dimension. The energy has shifted. The universe shifted. And don't be surprised if you start hearing those that's in the position of authority speak on the same topic. Because right now, some of you may say, OK, he's losing his mind. And I've on this channel, on my dream channel, I spoke on times. When I entered into a different realm of existence and then. I woke up and was caught between two worlds. I was awake, but I could still hear and sense what was happening in that other world. So I was caught between dimensions. Went to the bathroom, came back, laid back down, went to sleep, and I was right back into that same dimension. That same place, that other world where people now are starting to know me. By name. So am I the only one that's sensing this? Now, I spoke to someone early, just earlier today, this morning. And I mentioned it maybe a few days ago to someone else. And they also was talking about the same thing. They were saying, I was just speaking. This one woman said, I was just speaking to my brother about that. I just got done talking to someone about that. Oh my God, I feel the same way. Am I the only way that senses that we're now in a different time warp or time zone or dimension or realm or uh, parallel universe? Whatever you choose to call it, something is not right. Something is different. People are different. The energy is different. These are not the same people that I know. I went by my mom's house yesterday to, to visit her. And I'm watching her. And she's, Of course, she's gotten older, well, older with time. But just it just seems different. The whole everything seems different. Um, there's Twilight Zone episodes that actually speak on this type of topic where this man was inside this house and everything was set up the way uh, he was used to. But then as this, the show went on, he discovered that he was placed inside this box. It was a home. 
And he was on display. And you had these people. He was on a different um, planet. Because he was an astronaut. And he landed on this planet. That he thought was Earth. And everything was the same. And then you had him on display. And these Earth, these uh, extraterrestrials. Was actually watching him. Through this box. Through this display. And he was comfortable in his home setting. Because that's what he was used to being in. And the guy that was showing him the house. Was saying we tried to make it. Um, as real as possible for you. To make you feel. Uh, like you're at home. And later he discovered that he was not on earth. That he was dealing with extraterrestrials. Aliens. So there are so many people. Not just myself that feel this way. And these are people that don't have mental issues. Because as I mentioned before. So much is now placed and blamed on mental issue. If it's outside of the norm, you have a mental issue. And today's norm is what's happening and what's considered normal in this satanic kingdom. So is this the dawning of a new dimension? A new time and space? Which what we once knew no longer exists. In this realm or in this space. So feedback and tell me what you think. Subscribe. And follow me on Twitter. My dream. Twitter page which is. Dream Vision 2012. And I'll put the link in the description box. On the bottom and follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow me on Another Twitter page, FearlessJ1111 or FearlessJ2008. And I'm going to put a link to my dream channel on the bottom. And I encourage you to also follow me there. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. Peace.